Well, I look at the portfolio as I own it. It's not pretty, but it, it hasn't been, you know, for a lot of the year. And certainly, technically, a lot of people are very concerned. Internals and, and all those kinds of measurements are not looking attractive. But when you look at where the market has come from, it's down past the lows of June. The, the concerns are now about earnings because the Fed has embarked on the most aggressive rate hiking cycle we've ever seen. But I think we're setting up to, um, for an entrance into the third quarter earnings, as we did in June for the second quarter. I think earnings are probably going to be OK. There'll be some disasters. They'll be taken down. But I don't think there's going to be a wholesale um, decrease in earnings estimates, which is what the market is discounting. And that's where I think I don't know where the bottom is. I think we have to be close, although I said that, you know, in uh, in June. Um, but I think somewhere in here, a lot is discounted in the market right now. Are you buying these days or are you waiting? Well, I'm waiting um, basically because I am fully positioned and I have bought into downturns. But what I would say is that now you don't sell stocks, certainly here, but if you have some cash on the sidelines, this is an excellent time to begin picking up some real bargains. This is the kind of market where you throw out a lot of great companies and people, because the people don't know where the bottom is or what the earnings will be, and you can start really nibbling on some very good names. All right. Um, healthcare, energy, and financials, those are uh, three sectors you're betting we'll see the gains over the next year, according to our Delivering Alpha Investor Survey. Those results ahead of the Delivering Alpha Investor Summit tomorrow. So, Barbara, we want to ask you, do you like those sectors? Well, it's interesting. I like the healthcare, I think, is a good defensive play when you've got rising rates and uncertainty in the economy. You know, I, financials would sort of be last on my list. And the second one, what was the other one? It was, you said healthcare and energy. Yeah, energy. Now, energy is interesting. I don't invest a lot in energy, but certainly I think energy will outperform. It's at a nine, nine month low. You've got limited supply, hardly any spare capacity or inventory. And as the world economies do start to recover, which is not just at the moment, but sometime next year, I think you will start to see a reflation. I think energy could do very well. Instead of financials, I would prefer the big cap tech. I mean, they are all down dramatically 30 percent or more. Meta down 60 percent. And I think those are names that when they turn, they will turn big. And growth is going to be scarce. And these names still have a lot of growth and a long secular runways. Why don't you like financials? Is it the thought that we're going to go into a recession? Well, I think in financials, you have to make distinctions. I mean, there's the PayPal's, the fintechs of the world. You've got the big um, multi-capability banks like the JP Morgans. They're in trouble in terms of their trading side, their capital market side. And then you've got the big regional banks, which should do well in terms of interest rates. But I think now you're starting to see the moves in some of the banks. They should do well. But the, the question was, for what do you see over the next year? And I think mm -hmm. that uh, they will not perform as well as these other three groups.